everyone. Today I wanted to give you guys a little look inside the Science 5 curriculum from BJU Press. I have the student textbook as well as the activity manual here to show you. We are actually doing this um, through their distance learning online program. So because my daughter is getting all of her instruction from the videos, I do not have the teacher's manual here to show you. Although if you do it online, you do have access to the teacher's manual online, but I have not had to use that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the student textbook first, and then I'll give you a little peek inside the activity manual. All right, here is the student textbook, and if you open it up, you will see the table of contents here. Now this is a one-year science course, so this should take your student uh, an entire year and it is broken up into six units and 12 chapters. It covers minerals and rocks, fossils and dinosaurs, matter, energy and heat, weather, biomes, interactions in an ecosystem, changes in an ecosystem, sound, light, respiratory system and the circulatory system. And what I'm gonna do is just show you the very first chapter of the book so that you guys can get an idea of what is in here. This is just kind of an introduction and what I really like about these is it gets my daughter thinking, makes her do some critical thinking skills in the very beginning of the chapter. So I really like that. Um, we love all of the color in the book. These are very colorful and my children are enjoying that. One of the things that um, I like that is throughout the book is the Meet the Scientists. And so they get just a short little biography about some different scientists. And so I, I I'm enjoying that, my kids are enjoying that. Again, lots of great color in here. Um, throughout the chapter, there's gonna be these quick checks, and this is a great way for my daughter just to make sure that she understood the information that she had just read. If she can answer those questions, then she probably understood the information uh, pretty well. So um, another thing that they have are these little boxes that tie science to some other subject. So here we have science and math. So we've got a little section here where they're tying science and math together. So that's kind of fun. Again, lots of beautiful pictures and colorful pictures. Here's another quick check. Here is an activity um, that my student could do. And we actually did this one. So all the information that you need to do that activity. Um, again, some more interesting, fascinating facts. Here it is tying science and the Bible together. So that's great. I love that, that the um, Bible is being tied into science because I want my kids to know that science and the Bible do not contradict one another, that they actually work together, that God is the creator of science. So I love that they tie science in with the Bible. So again, lots of great pictures. We've got another activity here. Here it's tying science and history together. So um, just, just lots of fun. Here is another activity for chapter one, and again, here is an introduction for chapter two. And when I'm talking about getting your kid thinking, right here it says something to consider. What viewpoint does the speaker have? And this little blurb here that they have, what viewpoint, uh, what worldview is this person coming at? Um, the information that they're sharing. And I, again, love that about BJU Press, that they are not only teaching our kids science, but they are teaching them to think think about science from a biblical world view. So really, really enjoying that um, and loving that aspect of it. So that is the science uh, textbook for the student. Let's go ahead and take a look at the activity manual. Here's the activity manual. And what I'm going to do is try to flip here to um, a chapter that we have not used yet because we she's already my daughter's already done some out of chapter one and chapter two so I want to give you a look at a complete chapter here so here is chapter three and in the beginning you'll see that there is this looking ahead section kind of to give them a preview of what is to come so that is nice and then there is just a lot of different activities and study guides in here so here's an activity for measuring length volume and temperature here is a study guide that they are going to um, be using. Here is another experiment that they're going to be doing. Another study guide. 
another activity. And that was one thing that I was a little concerned about when it came to using BJU Press textbooks was we have not used textbooks, traditional textbooks in the past. And I was really concerned that there just wasn't gonna be enough hands-on activities for my students to do to make it interesting. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that there are a lot of activities, lots of hands-on stuff with the BJU Press Science. So been very pleased with that. My daughter's really enjoying it. Um, so again, here's another study guide. And then here is um, what they call Answers in Genesis. And I, I just love this section in here, you guys. There's one for every chapter. I love, again, they are tying science and the Bible together. Our world tells us that the Bible and science are, um, you know, in contradiction to one another. But here, uh, BJU Press is teaching our kids to look at God's word and to see that God is the author of science and that science and the Bible actually do go together and work together and um, they are not in contradiction. So I really love that aspect about it, um, about BJU Press. So anyways, that is just a little peek inside the um, activity guide. Lots of great uh, activities and study guides inside there. So that is Science 5, the student textbook and the activity manual. We are really enjoying um, Science 5 from BJU Press. I wasn't sure that we were gonna like a traditional textbook, but it is working really well for us, especially uh, using it with the distance learning program and getting that great instruction um, from the videos is, has been really helpful for my daughter. So um, I hope this was helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos in the future. And I will see you guys again in another video. Bye-bye.